Hello everybody. Zinebrick's final version of high-performance RC Ferrari F1 has been completed. And here's one of the structures. First, let's talk about the front wheel. It uses a structure where the main car leans back, because the previous tests found that. What if this structure is not used? Its stability will be poor. So here's the shock arm left. Here, it's half a unit staggered. Or use the original shock absorber. Because of the original shock it's absorber. It's still okay to bounce back. Nothing has changed here. One is the main car leaning back. One is the original shock absorber. And what about the steering gear? It's designed here. Its space is relatively large. We can directly design the landline inside. The rear wheels are our powertrain. I use a 2440 brushless motor. Plus this planetary gearbox. Or directly connect to our differential. It's a dual input axis. So after the power is transmitted from here, it has a motor on the other side. You can do a cylinder linkage. Then the cylinders are linked here. I use an 8 gear drive 24 gear. A triple slow down. What about a transmission like this? It is the one that can be maximized. Put the power on the wheels. Don't put too much motivation into it. Waste it on the friction of this gear. So I'm not using much here. Or use a long shaft. It is recommended to use a motor above 2440. Do not use anything under 2440. Because what about a car of this size? Ah. His pressure on the motor is still quite large. What if it's too small? It doesn't have enough torque. The motor gets hot easily. What if the motor is hot? It will lead to a lot of bad phenomena. What about this drive axle developed for feet? It has front and rear wheels. It has a cross shaft. The universal joint can be connected here. The rear wheel? It's a crosshair. This cross shaft can be inserted. And how to use it is like this. Plug the wheel into these cylindrical nuts. After plugging it in, this wheel will fall out easily, right? Because it doesn't have a locked structure. Here we have to put this screw on it. Here are three screws. Hold this wheel in place. After the screws are fixed, the wheel won't fall out. At the same time, this drive axle, it has this higher performance so what? It can in. be solved perfectly. This friction brought about by this high speed. There is also a rear wheel shock absorber. The hardened shock absorber must be replaced. Let's enjoy Zinebrick's brushless motorized kit of an F1.